Okay, guys. So we are talking about something. We j- this is the last article, the last story of this episode. We just talked about Uzumaki, by um, which is a, a work by Junji Ito. If you didn't see that, you know, live, it's okay on our Twitch. You can actually check it out as a video separately on our those guys in the radio YouTube channel. We just talked about what seemingly was the scariest thing on this episode absolutely terrifying but i'm going to end it on something even scarier than people turning into spirals there are rumors of a playstation all-stars sequel now we are <laughs> tristan the thought... stupid thing is i knew what the last article was <laughs> he thought there was breaking news you thought there was like I, breaking news i thought news. you were gonna pull a fast one on me <laughs> No, there are rumors that a PlayStation All Star is getting a sequel. <laughs> anyway, I have to oh, compose myself for life. You're right. That um, is truly horrifying. You know what sucks? The roster is good, but I have not heard one good thing about the game. If you liked this game, tell me a good thing about the game. I'm not saying I don't want to ever check it out. I'm not saying it's complete and utter uh, horseshit. I've just not heard one good thing about PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. It's funny. I've I've played it. How how is it? Please tell me, because I again I've never played it. Please tell me. I mean, uh, you know, if you like it, no, it's nothing against you. Like, hey, you do you. Um, it does feel like a poor man's smash though, but mechanically, it's it's weird. It's mm-hmm. got some oddities to it that make it a bit like not intuitive to just pick up and play yeah so i'm gonna buy this on the air um it's only four dollars probably for the thing that i just mentioned yeah anyway so no i will not play it with you no you don't have to i can find i not on camera you'll play it like on the side no but seriously the roster doesn't look terrible and i think playstation has a very interesting roster that they could use for a game like this i just i just wish it played better (laughs) yeah Um, so if they do make it too sincerely hope they kind of fix the mechanics yes now again this is only a rumor only a rumor um now it's weird because again this is uh, the rumor emerged when it was a presumed Capcom USA employee uploaded some confidential information to the internet. And yeah, I mean, it's weird because the leaks went over to 4chan. However, here's the thing though. 4chan, no, but 4chan has actually had some interesting leaks before. They leaked, not they, but someone on 4chan leaked Pokemon Let's Go a week before it came out. And people were like, no, literally, no, no, not the game itself, but like people were like, oh, it's going to be a... I don't know if they said the name, but they were like, hey, it's going to have Pikachu and Eevee in it. People were like, oh, this is bullshit, yada, yada. And then it came out and they were like, who leaked this on 4chan? What Nintendo employee uh, or Game Freak employee leaked this to 4chan and nobody believed them? Right. They're just like, I'll just put it here. No one will believe me anyway. Now, the issue is is that it seems as if Sony, again, rumor, uh, they will be developing this for the PlayStation 5. Right. So, and it will be launching in, well, it's weird. It says 2020 for the PlayStation 5. So that one's odd because, I mean, I'm assuming, I forgot when the PlayStation 5 is coming out. Yeah. I didn't think it was 2020. I hope not. I mean, it's fine. Nothing that you want to play will be PlayStation 5 exclusive. I I live in my past bubble. I I haven't had my PS4 for very long. Yeah. (laughs) But I'm, I mean, I have had it for a while, but I still haven't, um, uh... You, sorry, Google is drunk. <laughs> no, Tristan, I typed in... Let okay. me explain. I typed in... Okay, I gotta show this to you guys. Okay. I typed in Mega Man 5... I'm sorry, I typed in PlayStation 5 release date. It shows Mega Man 5 initial release date, December 4th, 1992. And I, for a second, thought that the PlayStation 5 was released two months after I was born. And I had a heart attack. <laughs> I was like, What? What kind of time travel bullshit Men in Black 3 fucking Back to the Future? I just, what is this? So it begins. Oh my god. The timeline is falling apart around us. No, but, uh, yeah, I can't show this to you guys, sadly, but I... It's like, oh, I'm not ready for this shit. Look, I'm gonna take a screen cap, and if you guys are watching this on our YouTube channel, then you've already seen it up. Alright? This is, what the fuck is going on? There you go. 
God, I'm so confused. Um, literally, I've taken a screen cap and I'm saving it. You should be. I just don't know what the hell is going on. So is Google. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so it seems as if, according to her leak, it's coming out February 12th, 2020. But again, that's based on a, a rumored leak, so it doesn't seem like it. Nothing has been officially announced by PlayStation yet, and we're getting closer and closer to February. Either way, I'll say this much. Tristan, I don't know how you feel, but if um, this tries, if they're releasing this around the time of the PlayStation 5, I think that definitely is a good way. If, if, if Sony's goal is, you know what, we've sold a lot of PlayStation 4s. We don't have to sell that many PlayStation 5s. They could definitely release this as a system no-seller, you know, as like a system keep it on the store shelves or I can't think of a good term. I don't know who will want to buy the PlayStation 5 for yeah, this is, game. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying someone wouldn't potentially want to try it out. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying that. But I don't think of this game as a system seller. No. Unless... unless like, you like got to have said, some strong titles alongside that. Unless, but there is a caveat. You said it, Tristan. Unless they really revamp everything in a way that really changes not just the gameplay mechanics but also like because what were your problems you were your problems you said it was how it played was it yeah. too slow was it too fast were there not enough i like what what no, the controls were clunky okay and like there was like for lack of a better term like a final smash meter mm. but it was really weird to try and pull it off okay so yeah so the uh, roster for the first game. So again, I want to talk about how stacked this was at the time. Um, Big Daddy from Bioshock, Cole McGarth. I'm sorry, Cole McGrath from Infamous, um, Colonel Raddick from Killzone, Dante from Devil May Cry, Emmett Graves from Starhawk, Evil Cole McGrath. Okay, from Infamous. Uh, mm -hmm. Someone named Fat Princess from Fat Princess. I mean, alrighty then. Um, <laughs> Heihachi Mishima from Tekken. Um, Isaac Clark from Dead Space. Jack and Daxter from Jack and Daxter. Cat and Dusty from Gravity Rush. I've heard great things about Gravity Rush. Um, Kratos from God of War. Never heard of God of War. Uh, of course, Kratos from God of War. I like the first one. I haven't played one since, actually. I probably should get back into it. Uh, Nariko from Heavenly Sword. I've heard of... I th yeah, I have Heavenly Sword, funnily enough. Uh, that's for the PS3. Nathan Drake from Uncharted. Everybody knows that's actually Tom Holland in disguise. No, seriously, Tom Holland might actually be Nathan Drake. Yeah, I, I heard about that oh, yeah. one. Uh, Parappa from Parappa the Rapper. Oh, yeah. uh, Raiden, or Raiden, from Metal Gear. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. So, oh, right, because the Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, I, I get them confused sometimes, even though I shouldn't, because they're both completely different. Um, similar styles, but look different. Sackboy yeah. from Little Big Planet. Right. Um, yeah, right, Tristan's like, what? For no, me, for a split I, second. I oh, Big no, I love, I love Little Big Planet, but calling me, call, call, being called, like, I hear Sackboy, and I'm like, I was like, I think that's what I was called by bullies in high school? Um, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, Sir Daniel Fortesque. Oh, med medieval. Fun. Uh, Sly yeah. Cooper from, well, you know, Sly Cooper. Spike from Ape Escape. All right, so I am buying this once the show's <laughs> over. Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal. Not sure how a car works into this, but also we have a dog mayor in Smash. So, you know, I don't think we should really be criticizing um, uh, Sweet Tooth from, Kristen, uh, uh, from Twisted Metal. Toto, Ino Toto Inoue from Doko Demo Isio. Okay, that's interesting. And Zeus from God of War. So that's the initial lineup. Oh, that's a cutesy game that did come out here? Question mark. Maybe it didn't. It's a cute. They're cats. They're adorable. Uh, it doesn't seem like they came out here though. And it was. Oh, he was a Sony mascot in Japan. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And then for this again, a rumored lineup. Right. We are getting Nathan Drake again, Kratos, Sackboy, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter. We're getting Spider Man, which is how I know this is potential bullshit. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yes, the PS4 version of Spider-Man was not only amazing, but it was also exclusive to the system. You, they, And I do believe... I, I'm under the impression that Sony, if they don't own Insomniac... I thought they owned Insomniac. At least they recently bought them out. I thought. I think so, yeah. But here's the thing, though. They'd have to go through Marvel to get Spider-Man. 
I don't know, man. Like, I feel like Marvel would want to keep him in Marvel versus Capcom or in Ultimate Alliance. I don't know. So Spider-Man is rumored. Uh, Alloy from Horizon or Alloy from Horizon. Um, Hellgast from Killzone. Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. Hells yeah. Tomb Raider from Tomb Raider Legend. Jill Valentine, of course, the character from Medieval coming back again as well. It says Cat and Dante. We know Dante from Devil May Cry. Not sure where Cat's from. Parappa the Rapper again. Ellie from Last of Us. Here's the thing. So this is why I think it like is a half joke because like I know we have some weird characters, especially in Marvel vs. Capcom. We have some um, some Resident Evil characters, and we even have Phoenix Wright in that. But it's weird to tell me that Ellie from Last of Us is going to be in a PlayStation fighting game. Um, mm. Delson Rowe from Infamous, Cloud from Final Fantasy VII, specifically the remake sprite. That I can see happening. Um, even though he's in Smash, I can still see it happening here as well. I mean, again, we, we've had Pac-Man be in Marvel vs. Capcom, the Vita version, and be in Smash. So I feel like, even though it's at the same time, I feel like it can happen. Solid yeah. Snake, I still feel like it can happen. Um, Ryu and Chun-Li. Those I feel weird about because those games were popular on Nintendo consoles first. So right. I feel like the PlayStation did not define them in any way. Like, Tekken was quintessentially playstation yeah right this is not so i feel weird um about them either way again the whole thing could be bs or it could actually be legit what i'm confused about is i was under the impression that crash and spyro were in the first one they weren't nope god that's fucking stupid sony what are you doing no they need to be in the first one yeah. I mean, I know that at the time, I'm pretty sure Activision owned them, so maybe Activision just didn't want to play ball, to yeah, be fair. right. But this time, it's like, yeah, I'm hoping that they're... God, it would be funny, though, if um, there, there's a new character. The, the fifth character in Smash by 2020 is Crash. That'd yeah, be right. fucking hilarious. Um, interested that there's no Sora in this. That's someone you'd want to swipe up. Yeah. Anime. Yeah, I mean, again, it was... I would argue for the longest time even though there were tons of spinoffs i thought kingdom hearts was quintessentially playstation yeah you know i mean one two uh both only coming out on the ps2 and then yes there was nothing for years but uh you know birth by sleep was on the psp you had um three now on the ps4 yes on the xbox one as well but still on the ps4 i don't know i consider it playstation but i don't know again maybe uh they don't want to square enix didn't want to play ball they or they were charging too much, and they were like, you know what? Let's if we can go, if we're gonna go for any rep, let's just go for Cloud, which is always a solid rep for uh, Final Fantasy. So Tristan, uh, would you pick this game up? Oh no! Nah. Oh no! <laughs> what if it was available on the PS4? Mm, what nah. if it was half off on on Street Date? <laughs> what was it? it was thirty bucks? <laughs> And they Damn, gave, and they, I told you no. And they put the other thirty bucks in your pocket, <laughs> so you got it for Please free. <laughs> Would you take the game for free? Mm, maybe. <laughs> what if it came with a free PS Five, but the oh. game was full price? Oh. I might, but I'd still feel dirty about it. <laughs> Tristan <laughs> just said I don't want a PS5 for 60 bucks. That's what he just said. That's what he just I said. said because no, of the I game. Because I of might. the game. Oh my god, the fact that you had to think about it. <laughs> I want to hear your, your horror stories, your war stories just, of, of the game, the first game, when we're done with this episode. I mean, it's not really a horror story. I just, I don't but that sounds absolutely awful. I know, that's fair. I'm I'm making it sound much worse than it was. It was okay. Okay. I just, just don't. Oh, I, oh I don't God. want it. Like, I have Smash sitting on... I, I don't want to make it jealous. Not that it is, to be Look, real. I'll, but... I'll say this much. I want to know what you guys think about the original game and about the sequel down below. And if this is going to be on the PS5 and exclusively for the PS5, do you think it's going to be a system seller? Because I, I just, I don't. But again, tell me what you guys think about all of that down in the comment section down below. So, we are at the end of our podcast. We are at the end of another episode of Keikaku Corner, the week of September 6th. 
around the time of my birthday. Thank you all so much. Love you all. Take care and tune in next time for another episode of Gay Kyaku Corner. Remember, those guys on the radio, you can also find us, uh, find our Patreon to get the full version of these in video form on there. So, love you all. Take care. Tune in next time. See ya. Goodbye.